says capitalists cannot expand factories. If they could, I would totally switch to this. Oh well. Mm, dreadnoughts. So nice. Grand Columbia. What are we doing here? Grand Columbia, Grand Columbia. Grand Columbia, where are you? Bingo. Cruise opinion. Gotta start from scratch with those motherfuckers. And we're almost done. Sort of. Uh, Central America. Ah, we can finally sphere Central America. Very nice. China, get some cookies. There we go. Love to ally with those motherfuckers. Okay, good, good. Now I will accept your offer, Central America, since we finally sphered your ass. Then we're going to have to spend some time lowering probably the United States' influence. Oh, Greece is trying to annex Ionian Islands again, but they're still in the Ottoman sphere, so I don't think the Ottomans are going to let that happen. Well, they might. Alright. Oh, I have never actually seen the country that we're attacking offer me to annex them. They always offer white peace, but these guys actually offered me to annex them. Sure. Spanish Asia. Spanish Asia. Spanish Java. <laughs> Alright. That was fun, but the fun's over now. Abu Dhabi, you're next, boy. Alright, we can't do this until 1914, so we have seven years. Huh. We could get better artillery. 1919 for some of that shit. Uh, is there anything that'll make our navy cheaper? Because it's really expensive. Right? Actually... You know, we have all those ships built, and it doesn't look like it's really costing us that much money. This set it costs 200 and something dollars a day. Oh, now it's half of that. Now it's $113 a day. <sighs> Maybe I will build more of them. I'm not sure. I, I thought that was going to wreck our economy, so I stopped the construction of all that shit. Um, it says Navy's build time gets, gets lower, so they're faster to build, but it doesn't say anything about the cost of upkeep or anything. Build time goes down, build time goes down, organization. Well, supply range is gonna be useful no matter what no matter what way you look at it. We're gonna be doing some traveling across oceans and shit like that. Ooh. We're actually getting some influence in uh Greece, but they're just gonna kick us out at the last second, like well not the last second. As soon as I get to sixty five they're gonna kick us out. Like they always do. And now we wait a while for uh Abu Dhabi to be ready for our massive penetration. There aren't really that many other uncivilized nations out there. 
There's a couple like up here that are partially westernized, but besides that, there's not much else. There's still Tunis. Oh, and they kicked France out. Huh. I wonder how that happened. They were in France's sphere, and now they're not. Well, if we can kick France out, we might as well attack them. I mean, it's something to do, right? You know? And the land, it's, I know, I know for a fact the land up here is kind of crap. In uh, Victoria 2, the land just doesn't get any useful resources at all. You can build a canned foods factory, and that's about it. The rest of it's just whatever. Well, while we have millions of dollars in the bank, why don't we uh, go back to expanding our railroads? Since I like railroads. Oops. Click on the wrong button here. I keep trying to click build navy. Like, that's going to get what I want achieved. But it won't. But I'm trying anyway. Ah, oh, we can invest in Hawaii. <laughs> you know what? Why not? Let's invest in Hawaii. Build some railroads there. Whatever. We're already building over there. We're already building over here. Denmark. We can always invest in our vassals, but... Ugh. Feels like such a waste of time, really. Well, not a waste of time, much as a waste of money. <laughs> Alright, so let's select all these dreadnoughts. And get them all in one spot and see what we have. All total. Eighteen dreadnoughts. And they are beastly. Sixty-three and eighty versus cruisers, which are thirty-three and fifty. So essentially they're twice as good as a cruiser. But look at the upkeep cost. These can these cruisers cost twenty-five pounds a day, but the dreadnoughts cost a hundred and fourteen. So it's four times the cost for only twice the ship. So it is a trade-off, but seriously, twice the ship, so useful in battles. Yeah, I think the Dutch might be our best target next, just because they have so much shit they could give us. Either them or England. England's kind of a tough target to go for, though, just because their military is so massive. But they don't really have any strong allies. In fact, their strongest ally is probably the Netherlands, because Germany is never going to reach us. They might send some troops through France or something, but I'm pretty sure our navy can keep their navy down. So the only really threat we're going to have would be Britain invading from India, because I'm sure they have most of their troops over there. I'm sure they have most of their troops over there. Well, we'll keep that idea on the back burner. Oh, alliance, maybe. Yes, please. Damn it, they said no. God damn it, China. Oh, I want that alliance. <laughs> uh, we'll check in on them in a minute. But let me first hit back to our uh, places of focus. How are we doing in Vin Long? 16, not bad. 38 in Damyat. 25. 27. 16. 37 in Sawira. 25. And that's it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, so yeah, where's the top one? 16, 38. That's the top one. Dumb yet. I at least know where that is. <laughs> That's one of the few places in this map that I actually know. Ooh, France wants an alliance. Yes. 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 Alright. 
Military access? <laughs> they give us an alliance, but they don't want to give us military access. Come on. Come on, Francie Poo. Yeah, the Ottomans intervened in the Greek War. Come on, France, give me access. Thank you. Interesting. So we're allied with France. They have a small navy, so I guess they're better than nothing. You know what, let me check the ledger really quick here. I want to see how large our navy is compared to Britain. If we can see that. We have the second largest military in the world. That's good. Uh, is there a way to see... Oh, ships, here we go. Bingo. Whoa, France has 440 ships. We only have half of that. Britain has pretty much the same. Ooh. Oh man, we could go for some we could go for some Britain right now. Go take over Midlands. Every time I attack Britain I always take Midlands first because it kind of cuts them in half. And it is it is the largest province in uh the United Kingdom proper, you know, you know, on the islands itself, it's the largest province. It has the most sub-regions, or whatever you want to call it. So I always go for Midlands first, and it's usually pretty easy to get, because they'll have, like, maybe 100,000 troops here, and the rest of them will be over here. They'll have, like, here you go, see? 30, 27, they'll probably have a total of, like, 400 troops just sitting over here in India, but they'll only have, like, 100 over here, and they may have 50 or something over here. What do you got? Yeah, 18, 18. Nothing, nothing. 21. Okay, maybe they have like a hundred in Canada, but for the most part they don't really have much in Canada. So we're allied with the United States and France. And we used to be allied with Russia, but Russia is an income poop. Oh man, can you imagine going to war with Britain with this alliance? Let's try them again. Ah, oh, they rejected again. Ah, oh, god damn it, China. Whatever. Yeah, we're gonna have to attack Britain at some point. Give me one of those no infamy causes bellies and I'll go for it. I know we can take them on, especially with France's help. The USA may not join. I don't know. USA usually likes to go to war with Britain, but they're more of a defensive thing. Because Britain tends to declare war on USA a lot. But the USA always wins because the USA takes over all of Canada and Britain never sends any reinforcements. I mean, they're, Britain's kind of dumb. Supply range, good, good. Uh, decision making might be nice. Get some more organization. Yeah. So our dreadnoughts are finishing over here in Oman. Our economy looks pretty stable. Although we are only... Oh yeah, look at that. Okay, so that's the difference. We weren't paying for full supplies. So the ships really are costing us quite a bit. We just aren't supplying them fully. Uh, yeah, I don't want any socialist. Thank you. Conquest causes belly against Tunis by Lucca. Yeah, that's not going to go well for you, uh, Lucca, because Tunis is going to be in France's sphere. Aren't they? Maybe. Oh, the Ottomans are influencing them, too. And so are we. <laughs> Everyone's getting a piece of Tunis, but, you know, Lucka, if you want to conquer them, go for it. We're definitely going to have to go after uh, industrial techs after this. 
so that we can get our economy back on track. Hey, we hit a solid 1,000 military power. Nice. Again, and we switched to Union Liberal again, but I have to go back to Partido Mordorado. There we go. Radical Republicano has been formed. Okay, well, what does Radical Republicano do? Radical Republicano. They're liberals. Well, it's it's okay, except for the capitalists can't expand factories. I want capitalists to be able to expand factories. Other than that, they're fine. Damn it. Hey, we passed 500 industry. Still only 7th best. But whatever. Tensions increase. No, no, we'll fall back. I never like to assert position because it gives you infamy. And it's like, yeah, why would I just, why would I click a button that gives me infamy and doesn't really get anything in return? You know, you get a tiny bit of influence. Yeah, Greece did not win. It's because you're doing it wrong, Greece. You did it wrong. Alright, some of these railroads are finishing. Good, good, good. Okay, let's go back to industry. Get all this shit going. I want to get to back around maybe 500 green before I even think about war. Oh look, we didn't even have to do that one. Or that one. Or this one. Nice. The fucking capitalists are doing it for me. Very nice. I'll probably have to manually do the African territories. But the capitalists are taking care of Spain nicely. They're probably taking care of most places nicely. Boxer Atrocities, the Righteous Society of Harmonious Fists, collect known colloquially as Boxers, a Chinese movement dedicated to restoring what they perceive to be a loss of Chinese independence in face of European expansion in Asia, have carried out massacres on European missionaries, blah 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 blah, lose prestige, and gain a causes belly against China. Well... Oh, they lost their alliance with Japan. You want an alliance? They lost all their influence, too. Oh, they rejected our proposal. Come on. I totally want to ally with you, dude. Russia declared war on China. Well, Russia has a big military. China also has a big military. Hmm. China mobilizes. And now their military is the same as Russia. Hmm. Oh, China lost its thing with uh, Korea. They lost their puppet. Korea was their puppet. Hmm. Oh, wow, we're at plus $2,000 already? Really? Even, even if we go fully funding everything? Really? No, we, we failed in Antarctica. Damn it. Let's try again. Our economy is suddenly amazing. Um, you know what? Let's go ahead and build a bunch of dreadnoughts then. If, if they're that cheap, even with full... Yeah, build the 18 in Europe for sure. And then, uh, you know what? Just do, do 36 in Europe. Just about everything in Europe. Host the regional trade fair. Yes! $250, well, pounds, to do that. Sure. New store in Toledo, that's nice. I'm going to invest in Central America a little bit. Just gonna th they have no industrial power. Wow. Can 
Come on, dudes. Build some industry. Get some self-respect. <laughs> yes, we will attend the Olympic Games. You know, El Salvador... Why don't we have a free people on them? I should be able to free people and have it go to United States Central America. But it's not there. Hmm. Well, I know United States Central America has the ability to annex them. Not sure why they're not doing it. They have 12 versus 6 military, so they're definitely stronger. They have us as an ally. Whatever, they're wusses. Wusses. And we're going to keep building railroads. Because we're cool like that. Invest in your vassals, baby. Chile, are you my vassal? I think you are. Yes, you are. We'll invest in you. You don't have any industry either. What is with people not having any industry at all? It's just weird. Uruguay, you are not my vassal. Colombia, you are my vassal. Ah, we can dick around with Tunis. Oh, that's right. Uh, oh, no, we can't. It looks like our ambassador was banned. Yeah, we were expelled. Damn it, right before we clicked the damn button. Whatever. No big deal. going on in the war. Uh, Russia's actually winning. I am surprised. I would have thought China would be able to push back a little bit. Well, they are. They're pushing over here, apparently. Yeah, okay, I see. And Russia's coming from this way. That makes sense. Yeah. Well, they want an alliance now, so sure. Yay, we have an ally. A very large ally. <laughs> Their only real downfall right now is they don't have the technology to deal with Russia's armies. Like, see here? 27 versus 50 something, and they're still losing. But that will come in time. That's what she said. And I think having them as an ally is more important than not having them as an ally. Oh, they also lost Tibet as a puppet. Ah, whatever. Cut down to size, boxer short. <laughs> it looks like it's missing some important text there. <laughs> oh, acquire Chinese Sophia Nova. All right. That's, yeah, that's only this one little sub-province. Doesn't really matter. New store. Very nice. How are we doing on uh, bureaucrats? Pretty good, 42% already, wow. Secret police, yeah, we have to. And then we have to kiss the USA's ass a little bit, get our relations back up. I hate those secret police events. I mean, it's nice that the secret police help you or else you would just be scratching her head like, oh, what happened? Shit went wrong, you know? Yeah, might as well invest in our our buddies, Portugal. They have no they have no industry. It's 1908 and Portugal has no industry. It's just odd. 
very, very odd. Sweden is being influenced by Russia. And we're about to be kicked out of Greece again. Yep, there we go. And yeah, Russia is just owning China now. Yeah, China lost all of its battles apparently. Poor guys, they didn't even have a chance to get going. <laughs> Russia wants access. No, you canceled your alliance with me, Russia. You're dickholes. Hey, our dreadnoughts are building. Or they're finishing construction, I should say. Oh, no, 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 no. Whoa, no, 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 no. This one. Increase relation. Shit, I almost canceled the alliance by accident. That would suck. Refrigerator technology, nice. Conservative, definitely. Oh! Austria declared war on France, really? They want Savoy, really? Uh, this could become a great war here. Let's see, France has us and Russia as their main allies. Austria has Russia and Britain. Let's see what Russia does. Russia joined France's side, so we will also join France's side, and pretty much we won't have to do anything. Alright, we'll join. Yep. Yay! Military alliance honored. So France is going to invade Austria this way, Russia is going to invade Austria this way, and we don't have to do anything. Oh, but we could use our dreadnoughts! Oh, yes, yes, yes. Where's my giant navy? Yes. Well, they're not really getting their supplies, are they? Whatever. Get over here. Yep, there's Austria's navy. Let's see if we can get there quickly enough and engage them. Oh, we're almost there. Please get them. Yes, we caught them. All right, let's see how this goes. Let me slow down time a bit. We have a commander. They don't. They have two light ships. We have a fleet. Um, yeah, they're dying. And they're dead. Yay! We got to use our dreadnoughts. <laughs> I am happy panda now. Ooh, 24 ships. What do they have in there? A bunch of light ships. They're probably just cruisers. It looks like they don't have uh, dreadnought technology yet. Or maybe they do. There's six and seven heavy ships there. We'll see. We'll see. France is taking care of them down there. How many points did we get for that battle? 0 0.1 points for the Battle of the Straits of Otranto. Hell yeah, we got 0 0.1 points, baby. Nice. <laughs> and that's pretty much it for Austria. 4,000 military strength versus 1,000. It's going to be the end. They're going to lose something. I bet France is going to demand Piedmont, and I bet Russia is going to demand something. Wait, how much infamy do you have? Yeah, Russia will definitely demand something. France... Yep, both of them can demand stuff. We're the only ones who can't. Oh well. Oh 
Okay, so now we're negative. Maybe this, uh... Maybe we're only paying for the Navy while we are uh, at war. Maybe when we're at peace, we just don't pay for them. That, that might make sense, I guess. Athletes are victorious at the Olympics. That's great. And yeah, France is just destroying these armies. It's not even a fair fight. Get electricity first. And they're gonna make that navy spit out into us. Oh, that'll be nice. Oh, and we're finishing up more dreadnoughts. T and there's more building all the time. Let's put the speed back up. 